Hey guys, welcome to Life in Perspective. It's season three and we're talking defining moments. And you already know, I've been bringing my friends to the party, but this week is for sure family. I got my brother and my sister, Brian and Kim Freeman. What's up, y'all? Yo, I love them. Okay, so if you saw the very first episode of Life in Perspective, I talked about how uh, we were sitting filming this in a defining moment. Well, Kim and Brian own the studio that we have the pleasure of shooting Life in Perspective in, and and I am just amazed at what life has. <laughs> God been guiding. Listen, God has been guiding. Yes. Okay, yes. so we're talking about defining moments. I ain't going to tell y'all defining moment. Y'all can tell your own <laughs> defining moment. Like, when, when you think of, man, I feel like for y'all, your defining moment is like, nobody but God did yeah. this yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. What comes to mind when you think defining moments? Oh, man. Define. I mean, the whole entire move to California yeah, was that's, a, that's what I would have a said. major yep. defining moment. And that was based off a dream that the Holy Spirit gave to Brian. Mm. And at the time, I was driving um, uh, for a telecommunications company as a mobile sales representative. And so he's at home and then I'm at work and an hour into my day, I'm driving, you know, navigating through a completely different city about an hour away from where we lived. And so he calls me and tells me the dream. He starts to tell me the dream. And then I said, wait a minute, I gotta pull over. So I pull <laughs> over because I'm like, the first thing he's talking about is, is California. And so I wanna make sure I'm, I'm hearing what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. And so he tells me the dream and at the end of the dream, like, I told him, I said, well, let me just sit with it. I need to pray. I need to seek God. At that time, I just, and not just at that time, but even now, us being married, I really feel like if you, if one person gets a vision, specifically if your husband gets a vision, you need to really sit with it and make sure that you can agree with that word mm -hmm. because it, there are going to be moments that really try that thing. Oh, and yes. it's going to try it and make you feel like, you know, um, it was wrong. It was a mistake for you to be here. Maybe you should turn around. Maybe you should turn back. But whatever you had to do to get the peace on that it is that thing that's going to resonate with you when those times really get hard mm -hmm. and so I told him that I needed to just pray and fast and really see what God was saying to me mm -hmm. and it took three and a half weeks before I got confirmation after confirmation after confirmation like from Sunday to Thursday every single day whether it was a devotion whether it was a scripture whether it was something coming through my phone it was I at at the job i'm meeting people and they're speaking things mm -hmm. that are confirming the dream yeah. and what i was fasting and praying into and so i would just say for me like having the faith to really move forward mm -hmm. and the process mm -hmm. that god is here was really defining for me because i never 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 saw myself living in california yeah because you were east coast I you love, east coast girl listen i feel like east coast people either love or hate california you know <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love California. I love it. No, for sure. I love that. It's so crazy. I love that you said, like, Brian got a word, and I'm like, yeah. hold on. I need to pull over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that is really what it's like in life when you yeah. hear from God. It's like, I'm driving down this road. I'm going yeah. to this destination. And then God flips the script. you like, like, wait. Mm -hmm. We should say, wait, I mm -hmm. need to pull over. Usually, we, like, still going in the same direction. Like, that part. God, you sure? You mean right, right now? Right. You, you, well, a couple just years get later, to my destination. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I get there, then I'll stop and listen to what you got to say. But mm -hmm. I love that you said that because I instantly had a visual of like mm -hmm. that is how we should respond to a word from God, whether it's a dream or somebody shares something that they feel like God told them to share concerning mm -hmm. your future. It is a hold up, wait, let me pull over. Yeah. And yeah. let me assess what God is saying, and it let me assess what my next steps are. What about for you, B? I'm, it's the same thing. Um, my my pops taught me. He didn't say this exactly. He's not a man in many words, <laughs> um, but he taught me that the mark of a man is his ability to hear God. Mm -hmm. um, he's one of those guys that wakes up every morning about four o'clock and hears God and he calls it mapping out. Mm -hmm. So nobody messes with him while he's mapping out and he just has the, the weather channel playing, no sound, and he's just hearing God. And mm -hmm. he's literally gotten like our, 
our complete destiny has mm-hmm. literally come from those morning prayers, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, California was something, and it's, it's crazy. It was probably like three, four years in, and I think my mom was like, you remember Pops used to say California? And I was like, oh, my God. And this was in the 90s. Wow. He used to say California. I never had a desire to, to <laughs> mm-hmm. move to California. It wasn't until then. Mm-hmm. But, you know, his sheep hear his voice. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had that dream. And it was interesting because it was during a time where I was in a space to where I was looking to hear God. Mm-hmm. So I'll never forget. It was a New Year's Eve. In New Year's Eve, you know how you go to church and you 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 hoping to get a word? Well, yeah. the church mm-hmm. we was going to. I don't know what the heck was going on. <laughs> you said we didn't get no word there. But we didn't get no word that that that, that uh, New Year's Eve. So they had a praise party. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So you walk in, we playing Frankie Beverly. I was like, yeah. this ain't what I came to church you for. Said, I could have went to the club like, for Frankie. Right. Seriously. I'm like, listen, yeah. I don't know what's happening in my life. Mm-hmm. All I know is that I need I need some direction yeah. for me and my family. Yeah. And I was actually pissed off. I mean like cussing pissed off that <laughs> night. He like why what, what you know what I'm like saying? I won't cuss on your podcast. It's he okay, it's okay. But it's you a safe know, space. <laughs> yeah, I said some choice words that night leaving church and they know I was pissed off. Remember? That? I said some choice yeah, I was, words that I was night pissed off. leaving church. I was literally pissed <laughs> off that <laughs> that yo, I came here for the bread of life, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I came here to get the word for my future, for my what have you. And in my frustration, I started to hear God. Wow. And the Lord t- started talking to me about like, b- essentially what to pull out of my life mm-hmm. to to pretty much like hollow myself out to be able to receive direction. Yeah. And man, yeah, it was a tough time, yeah. you know, obeying and actually it's crazy because i gave that same word to some of my friends i'm like y'all if y'all just do this <laughs> god is gonna and i was just crazy in faith god yeah. is going to show you this that, and the other well he sure did yeah. he poured out that dream and that dream it man oh my god i think oh, i thank god we yeah. we listened to that dream yeah. no i love that because it reminds me of the scripture that says like when you seek me you'll find me. yeah and so even though you didn't receive what you thought from a place the only place you thought you could get it from yeah it's like some Sometimes we could think like, man, God is this distant, far away being that we have no access to. It's like, no, mm-hmm. he lives on the inside of us yeah. Yeah. and he's always speaking to us. Yeah. It's just like, how desperate are you? Yeah. And I love that you said, hey, I was cussing and God spoke to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I think sometimes people yeah. try to feel like, oh, he only yeah. speaks to certain types of people yeah. who are in certain spaces and certain yeah. caliber. Yeah, no, yeah. he already knew you yeah. Yeah. and he yeah. knows you. Yeah. So nothing you do shocks or surprises yeah. him and it doesn't disqualify you from right, hearing his voice right, yeah right. yeah exactly. so yeah. good yeah man okay so i think about hearing from god i'm single so i can mm-hmm. hear from god and just i don't gotta consider nobody yeah what does that <laughs> look like for you guys as a lifestyle mm-hmm. like okay you moved to california but yeah. it's like if one person gets the word mm-hmm. how do yeah. we pull the other person into the word yeah. it's, do we do we pray do we talk yeah. about it do we sit and yeah. wait until the yeah. other person catches yeah. up like what does yeah. that look like for you guys hold on let me say this before you okay. before you go there it first starts with picking a person that will actually submit and follow Ooh. that's one Ooh. so you I, said something there brother <laughs> that's everything so my pops, I'm going to probably say my pops like 58 times. We love pops. So we my do. pops, I'll never forget. He used to always say, you need somebody like your Aunt Jean. You need somebody like your Aunt Jean. I know my mom was probably like, why do you keep telling me? What about me? <laughs> what you about know what I'm me? saying? Yeah. But my Aunt Jean, long story short, peace Aunt Jean. Um, I heard my uncle not together no more. That was That's a whole other story. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that's all on him. But long story short. Um, my aunt Jean supported my uncle through every, I'm talking about everything Mm -hmm. when nobody wanted him. He was, she, she saw, you know, she saw him, um, got him through undergrad, boom, supported him. No job. Grass, put him through grad school. Boom. Put him through dangle and getting his doctorate. You know what I mean? Like they work together like like hand in glove mm-hmm. on everything because she reaps the benefit oh my of god that support mm-hmm. yeah absolutely sure. absolutely yeah. but i remember him always saying that like you you have to find my pop says this all the time you need somebody that you can work with so what you're saying is we should date the bus driver oh you Ooh. you should definitely <laughs> no, no. 
<laughs> Listen, no, hold on, no, no, hold on, watch this, hold on, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Date the bus driver. Hold on, date the bus driver if he's going somewhere. It all so, depends on where that bus is going. Let me so tell you something. So is a bus driver not enough? Let are me you, tell you something. Okay, yo. Hold on, life hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna this is me, Kim, and Brian all the time. Yeah, all the time. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Listen. Let me tell you something. I got a major lesson from a friend named Jenna Solomon in the seventh piece, Jenna. I was about in the to seventh say, grade. This is my. I mean, this, I right. love. No, I love Jenna, and I'm gonna tell you why. For this reason, I when I was in seventh, we were in sixth grade. I had a crush on Jenna. And I said, Jenna, will you go with me? And she said, where? <laughs> what? That stuck. Check. That Check stuck. Sure, cause, that stuck. Because there was no destination on I that. I always paper. knew that you had to have mm -hmm. a direction. It's true. Never. I, Otis Lockett, another shout out. And if you can find old videos from Otis Lockett, beast, pastor. He, he said he will never marry a man without a vision. If you did not have a written vision for your family mm -hmm. he would not marry you yeah you know no for sure that because that's what came to mind when you just said that like where it's like i'm cool with you being a bus driver mm -hmm. but what does that mean for our family yeah. yeah and as long as you have a plan like i actually don't care what you do yeah, yeah. as long as you have because a person with a vision understands like how to lead yeah. i feel yeah. like because i you can't be talking about well we just gonna see no yeah. no we not just gonna yeah. see <laughs> we're yeah. not gonna yeah. figure it out now i'm gonna yeah. say this with the yeah. bus driver thing you okay if you would if you're looking for a man or not looking for a man you waiting for that man yeah, how should we looking, say it? if you're waiting for a man you need to man. be able to look at his track are record. we actively waiting look, for actively the man? actively which means you getting your stuff together you you know working yeah, on yourself yeah. all of that right I like that mm -hmm. you should be in this you should be able to find out what he's done i mean tractionable things yeah. like what have what vision have you had mm -hmm. in What's come out of the visions that you For had? Sure. You can't just be a random dreamer. No, that's true. Because yeah. if it was being a bus driver in the vision, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. makes a difference. Or did you just end up a bus driver? Because yeah. I think that matters too. Yeah. Like, because then it's like, are you, did you settle here? Mm. Well, and now you want is, me to settle here? This would be the question. This would be mm -hmm. the, this would be the question about the bus driver thing. I was talking on the bus driver. I was about to avoid it, Man, but I'm gonna I'm hit it. I brought it up. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna hit the bus driver. Perspective. If that man's call in life was to be a bus driver, mm -hmm. he's pleasing God. That is. The Hello. question is, that is that man pleasing God? Yeah. Now, here's the bigger question. Is that enough for you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. that enough for you? Because that... Here's why it's hitting me. Because I always say this thing. And I've said it on here before. Like, my highest ambition is to please God. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, dang, that's true. Because I didn't consider, like, the same grace I would want mm -hmm. in whatever that looks like. Which, in the current season, it looked like walking away from my job. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want my husband to be able to honor, like, hey, this is what God said do. Mm -hmm. yeah. While at the same time, he like, well, God told me to go be a plumber yeah. and fix toilets and also minister to people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Like, well, I gotta respect that. And mm -hmm. I think something yeah. you said earlier is like, you have to choose the person um, who will submit to mm -hmm. you hearing the voice of God. And I think on the other side, as women, we have to choose men that we know hear from God. Yes. Absolutely. Because I feel like if I know you hear from God, even if I'm a little like, mm, yeah, I can trust yeah. the God yeah. in you. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to give you another one. You need to know where you lie in that vision. Mm -hmm. There's been, there has been mm -hmm. no vision that God has given me that she did not fit smack dead in the center of wow. it. Wow. Her life, her life has come out of the blueprint that God has given me. I don't even know where to go from here. That's so okay. let, me, let me say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. When my, when my mom met my, met my pops, right? Mm -hmm. This, my pops is my stepdad, right? When he, when she met him, all he had was a bed, a truck, mm -hmm. some stuff, some Folgers cups with, with papers in it, mm -hmm. right? But that man had a vision. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he had a vision. The other thing that he had was an ability. He had an, a, tr a trade. That man can build any and everything possible. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about he can build. That's your bus driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But a lot of times people will, 
I can't do that. Discount that person. For I can't sure, do that. Based on what they see. I at can't that do moment. that. But that's oh, my, my pops is doing very well right now. Yeah. I'm know. talking about very well. But what happens is sometimes all you see is a bus driver mm -hmm. and you dismiss him and you miss the opportunity to hear the words of his heart. For sure. Yeah. And what if the next version of who he is is locked in you? That part. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if the next version of you is locked for in sure, him? For that's sure. The, that's the bigger I, one. But I think it's both. Yeah. I think it's both. Yeah. I think we are so... I think we are so accustomed to thinking like because we hear this like you need to be whole and you yeah. need to be whole yeah. and together we make one yeah. and it's like yeah. I agree with that yeah on some levels like you don't yeah. need to be yeah. trying to find nobody to complete you yeah but it literally says he that finds a wife finds a good thing yeah. and obtains favor yeah. Yeah. so what if the next version of his life he doesn't mm -hmm. see so, until he does, finds his exactly. good thing well, yeah. yeah and so I I agree that like and i agree with that vice versa like to mm -hmm. your point it's like you're a photographer mm -hmm. yeah kim wasn't doing makeup at first no you yeah. know what i'm saying but it comes together yeah. it mm -hmm. works yeah. and so it's like what are what is it that god wants to build mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. the foundation of your mm -hmm. i'm gonna give you union even, i'm gonna give i'm sorry inter, i'm gonna give you something even better um i was taught per, about perception mm -hmm. about the ability to perceive mm -hmm. right Perception goes far beyond what you what you see. For sure. So when Kim and I met, we were I'll never forget we were at Tab I want to say we were at Tabak. I think that's the name of the club. We were at Tabak and we were on like on the third floor of Kim Tabak. She has no it, it overlooks yeah. old life. it overlooks like the like it overlooks yeah. the White House and we both drinking and you know you know a little turn what have you and I was not in the in in this christian life exactly mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying i was just kind of doing my thing what have you even in the midst of that the holy spirit came over me and i had this vision while i was looking her eyes and i saw her future i saw all of this wow there was something on me that made me feel responsible for this woman i felt responsible to help pull the thing that i saw in that out of her and she's still becoming that thing. That's perception. Mm -hmm. That's perception. And for me as a man, that's one of the most important things is having vision, being able to see past right now. Mm -hmm. And I think, sadly, we live in a world where people don't perceive people. Mm -hmm. No, that's really good. So what, what, do, you, what do you say? Because I, I can imagine that there are a couple people watching this, mm -hmm. like, I hear what you're saying, yeah. bro, but <laughs> I'm not going to be fooling with no bus driver. But... Mm -hmm. I, you should tell them what you tell tell me about tall people. Like, yeah. if I don't want to, if I only want to date yeah. somebody that's six one, I'm gonna be single. That's mm -hmm. what Brian be telling me all the time. Well, you know what I'm me. saying? Because he said, "Well, statistics show." Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but I'm saying like, how do you encourage someone who says like, "Man, I came from nothing, mm -hmm. yeah. and I built a life. Mm -hmm. I got it out the mud." You know, they say mm -hmm. that all the time, and there is this fear of settling and ending up without because mm -hmm. i think some of it is rooted in uh just a heart of lack like mm -hmm. just not knowing even though you have there's always a fear mm -hmm. yeah. of not having yeah. and so what do you say to somebody that's like man like not necessarily got to marry the bus driver because mm -hmm. the question was like would you date one yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying so how how do you encourage somebody to give someone who doesn't fit inside of their checklist or their yeah. box to give them a chance and what are the benefits of that i mean can i say something yeah, I'm so I, sorry, if i let you take it over yeah. it'd be brian in perspective well angel you know? said that was gonna happen <laughs> jokey joke so <laughs> I mean, I I would like to just share that when Brian and I got together or before we met, actually, I was going through like some internal struggles and mm -hmm. battles with myself. And I woke up one day out of, you know, after having a weekend of hanging out and partying and drinking and all that other stuff, like just so much noise was just in my head within myself. And I said, God, I need peace. So I would say the first thing first is when you start to do 
work within, then mm-hmm. other things start to attract mm-hmm. to you. Mm-hmm. So I got to a place where I needed to seek peace and I said, God, whatever it looks like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go through the mm-hmm. process. So if friends gotta go and friends started to leave and I started letting friendships go, situationships, letting those things, walking away from those things. And obviously you're not gonna be 100% overnight, so it's a process, mm-hmm. right? But as I start to move in a different direction, things start started to turn away for, turn around from me mm-hmm. so I would say the first things first is to make a decision within mm-hmm. yourself mm-hmm. that you don't want this you don't want to be here you have to make that conscious decision so that things can, the work can first start within you mm-hmm. and then the things can start to manifest out or happen outside of you so yeah. um, and then once I started doing that that's when shortly after I made a decision a, a mm-hmm. concrete decision I met Brian mm-hmm. And, and that's a long story and a whole yeah, different episode. Whole but um, <laughs> I met Brian and um, months later, I saw him again. We were working at the same employer. And from there, like our relationship grew. And, you know, to the point of the bus driver, Brian wasn't all it is. Nope. <laughs> he, he wasn't all it is. Matter of fact, he didn't even tell me all of what he was, mm-hmm. but he gave me what he gave I me gave enough information mm-hmm. to make a determination as to whether I wanted to move forward or not. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't in the best relationship with the Lord, saved, but you know, backslidden. And you live your life, and you get grown, and you start doing things. You get a little driver's license, and you think you can be whatever <laughs> you want to be in the world, right? <laughs> but um, so I was backslidden, and I'm, I'm making this conscious decision to. Come Come back to the Lord and while he's telling me this one particular night while he's telling me how he truly feels about me I'm having an internal conversation with now what I know to be the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. telling me well why not him mm-hmm. and what's wrong with him and remember what you used to have remember you wanted the six one and up mm-hmm. you wanted this look and that look like if you see us standing beside each other Brian's a, little, a couple of inches taller than me <laughs> but that's not what my type was yeah. and so oh he got to have this and got to have that but why not him and so why not try something different why mm-hmm. not try this try try this right here you have an option mm-hmm. and so I said okay I'm going to move forward and I haven't looked back since come and on that 12 that's 12 years from that come moment 12, years. Um, 12 and a half years yeah 12 and a half years Ooh. 10 Almost years 13. married come in the next dozen. month so mm-hmm. it's like you know you never know what what that that person is bringing or that that um that person that's uh showcased in front of you mm-hmm. you never know who that person is going to be but mm-hmm. you got to make a decision right then and right there like are you going to pass this up mm-hmm. because it's not your type in this season but what is your type like i mean it's so many things it's, it's such a little <laughs> thing but i just you know that's i good. would just encourage that i hope that helps no that i'll say was, one was thing good. where your treasure is your your heart lies yeah so sometimes we just get to really see where people's heart sure. lies. Yeah. And sometimes it's, it's in menial things. Yeah. It's in mm-hmm. things that's going to fade. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, do you have a solid person, somebody you can depend on? Yeah. I, I always try to picture myself at 80. Mm-hmm. Is this who I want to be with 80, at 80? And this is a person I can trust and You know, all of those things. Outside of that, the job and the what type of house you live in and all that type of stuff, yeah. that's, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'll, I think a lot of that stuff boils down to the lust for lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I was thinking, I'm like, I think it, a lot of it has to do with, like, what will people think? Yeah. Less about, like, what you, because if you mm-hmm. met a person and you didn't know what, I, I really love the experiment, Love is Blind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Only because it gives people an opportunity mm-hmm. to meet the person first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, then some people make decisions like, yeah. love is not mm-hmm. blind, and yeah. I can see this and I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it gives this introduction to, yeah. like, here I am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then what I do, because if you fell in love with that person, that probably wouldn't matter. Yeah. But that's cool. Okay, one last question. What has your relationship with Jesus taught you about you mm. and your marriage mm. to abandon my desires oh my god yes um yeah. abandon your desires abandon my desires be willing to let it all go so in in many seasons mm. so good um you have to agree agreement is going to push everything yes. forward 
every single thing like this that we're sitting in agreement agreement mm -hmm. like we we wouldn't be in la if we didn't agreement. agree mm -hmm. so um you you have to be in agreement to move forward whether that's good or bad because people are agreeing with some bad things yep. and it's you know as long as you 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 okay with it you're gonna be in it um and also what i'm learning now is uh as a wife that um i need to be able to submit to the headship of my husband mm -hmm. because that is what's going to protect us and so and keep us and allow us to go leaps and bounds. So not just taking baby steps, but now we really start to get some more stride to us, to the mm -hmm. rhythm of us and everything that is all of the things that God called us to steward or mm -hmm. gave us to steward so um just that submission mm -hmm. and that that is tough yeah. that that's you know i know we gotta go mm -hmm. yeah. but oh. that word has been used on the yeah. podcast mm -hmm. you the second wife that's yeah. been on the podcast mm -hmm. um <laughs> and you know i think that women struggle with yeah. that i think they yeah. fear what that means because for some reason yeah. we hear and submission like means thing. sacrificing me yeah and maybe it does i don't know mm -hmm. but i mean really quickly but it's practically what you know mm -hmm. what is that I'm, okay i'm saying so like practically yeah. what does submitting to your husband look like f for you well for me it's it's i know that god is speaking to him and at least i i selected him so i should have made sure that that one god is speaking to him before i move forward in the mm -hmm. relationship so you got to do that like if you are a believing person sorry i'm hitting the mic but um if you are a believing person like you want to make sure that you have a person mm -hmm. that can hear from god and is filled with the holy spirit so that he can guide you right mm -hmm. um because if he can hear from god then god is going to tell him how to steward me and he's mm -hmm. going to tell him how to steward his daughter because if mm -hmm. i am god's god loved brian but he also loved kim yeah. mm -hmm. and god god and he is, will discipline this me. is his son but i'm also his daughter mm -hmm. so if you don't take care of your daughter bro you're going to get corrected mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you got to be able to to make sure that you select properly for those things just like he cares about one he's going to care about the other yeah. mm -hmm. so i think that submission is just that is knowing that when you submit to him like all of the things that bother me and concern me that may happen between us I go to my father and I'm mm -hmm. like, God, help get me. Get your son. Help mm -hmm. me get your son. But mm -hmm. then it becomes, well, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Why am I telling you get your son? Is there something else within me that mm -hmm. I'm struggling with that's making it hard for me to receive your son? Teach mm -hmm. me how to be a wife to mm -hmm. your son. Mm -hmm. Teach me how to listen from your son. That's that submission part. You start getting in those prayers. It starts shifting on you because mm -hmm. you really got really start showing you that's yourself good. and mm -hmm. saying, hey, you know, is it really my son or is it my daughter in this <laughs> moment and does my daughter need some course correction so she can receive from them Ooh. so i think that's that's what that is yeah i hope that answered you child you didn't wreck some people's lives i'm and wrecking we need, my own life we we ain't got time I'm, we do we not got time, time but that was so good okay if y'all could whoever you know Br brian you it's know okay. if you want to pray for God. us pray. um yeah Jesus. and i think like we 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 hit a lot of stuff yeah. and we did um, but I think too, just like actually, whatever you feel led for to pray for, out of the discussion we had, or we hit yeah. a lot of things. But whatever's on your heart, vision and submission. Mm -hmm. um, Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, thank you, first of all, Lord God, uh, for our sister Brenda, Lord God. Um, we've been seeing her for some time, Lord God, following you, Lord God, following your vision, Lord God, and also submitting herself. So thank you, Lord God, for the gift that she is, Lord God, to your people, Father God. Lord God, for her, for the people, Lord God, that are, are listening right now, Father God, we ask, Lord God, that you give them clarity of vision, Father mm -hmm. God. Lord God, give them instructions on what to take outside of their lives, Lord God, so that they can hear you more clearly, Lord God, whether that's social media, Lord God, whether that's food, whatever that is, Lord God, um, speak to them, Father God, Lord God, mm -hmm. and just give them proper vision, Lord God, give them direction, Lord mm -hmm. God. Father God, and then submission, Lord God, give them the hearts, Lord God, to submit to what you have given them, Lord God, to the words that you have given them, Lord. Lord God, for the men, Father God, 
I ask, Lord God, that they first submit to them, to you, Lord God, before they ask any woman to, to submit to them, Lord God, mm -hmm. that you that they submit to you, Father God. And Lord God, I ask, Lord God, for those women who are already wives that are looking for husbands, Lord God, because you got to first be a wife, Lord God. I ask, Father God, that you give them vision, Lord God, on who to submit to, Lord God, that mm -hmm. they might not throw their pearls before swine, Lord mm -hmm. God. Lord God, we ask that you give us wisdom, and we thank you, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yo, y'all, do me a favor <laughs> and go right now and follow Kim and Brian. Y'all see they dropping gems here, <laughs> all right? Okay, and if you're single, you need to get around some married people like them. So go follow them right <laughs> now. <laughs> and while you're following them, go ahead. You guys tell them where they can uh, follow you at, how they can oh, connect yeah, with yeah. you. I am um, at K Freestyles on Instagram. That's the letter K. K F R E E S T Y L E S. Yep. And uh, my mine is B Free. Period. That's the letter B. B F R E E. Period. The word period. period. Yeah. The word period. Yeah. yeah. And let me just I'm gonna plug them real fast. All, my pictures. Aww. Kim beats my face, and Brian is a genius behind oh, the lens, okay? So make sure when you follow them, you also book them, all right? <laughs> okay? Follow and book them, all right? This book is just the studio. Book the studio. Oh, yeah, be free studio. You, you, you ain't even studio. seeing yeah, all of that's all of in studio. here, all right? You're just getting this little bit. Just go follow them and just yeah. and book them and the space. Do all the things. <laughs> and while you're doing that, go ahead and hit subscribe. Please, on subscribe. While you're watching this, if you're mm -hmm. listening to it, go ahead ahead subscribe to the podcast because it's popping every week it here and there's something um absolutely there's nothing that you want to miss so go ahead and do that hey guys this is life in perspective <laughs>